Welcome everyone then to the Hamad International Circuit here in Qatar. We've got round 12 of 14 here and this is the third last race of the season which means every point here is going to count on this treacherous circuit with high speed corners all over the track and lots of runoffs so crashing is very much going to be a challenge here. We have 13 corners here at Qatar and we have some very big bankings and hills around this circuit as well. We have two major DRS zones. We've got one on the way down to the final corner and one on the way to the first corner. That first corner is going to be a very good overtaking opportunity for those drivers following behind. And as for some fun facts for this weekend, 2022 FIFA World Cup will be held in Qatar, making it the first Middle Eastern country to hold the event. Qatar holds 25 billion barrels of proven oil reserves as of 2016, ranking 13th in the world. So here's the starting grid then for today's race. So Algar lines up on pole position with Ramza alongside him in the Mercedes. Looking down the rest of the grid, we have Jazzy in third, Ni nee in fourth for AlphaTauri, which is a very decent qualifying position for him. Gogo lines up fifth for Haas, Zinx lines up sixth for Red Bull, Zs104 lines up in seventh for Aston Martin, Kevana lining up eighth for AlphaTauri. ASM lines up 9th for Haas here and AMW lines up in 10th on his debut back with McLaren. Pikachu lines up in 11th with Ms. Williams and Billy will be alongside him in, th in 12th. Jerry lines up 13th, one of his lowest qualifying positions alongside Falcon next to him. Evan, shockingly out-qualified uh, by Z2 and Raf lines up the grid. So we're going to be having 5 red lights ahead of the drivers now for the Qatar Grand Prix. It's lights out and away we go. Alka gets a good start, so does Ni in the back there. And I think uh, the, the Ferrari, uh, sorry that was uh, Ramza who hasn't gotten a great start. And now going into turn 1, there's a long line of cars now. Looks like Raf got a bad start in the background there. alka has been overtaken now for the lead. Jazzy I think is trying to get the lead now into turn 1, looks like Roms has managed to also edge forward there and then we have an Aston Martin of S104 in that group as well so all the drivers now filing their way through the S's in the end of this first sector right now Romza he has taken the lead here, Alga is right behind him and S104 is trying to get second place as well and maybe trying to snatch that lead as well, Alga goes a bit wide there but the he manages to keep it on the track and there's as a whole, there's some driver sitting the bump there and no one has crashed out yet though it seems so now uh, S104 and Ramza are keeping it together no, Ramza just went off the track there but he's managed to somehow not get damage from that so very lucky to still be able to continue this race Algar now is back into the lead and he is right behind him as well And but Algar though, oh, Algar got a bad exit there I think he hit the bump and now he's in the wall now Ramza is trying everything he can to get back ahead but S104 goes deep at the S's there that might invite Romza to have a go now down the inside Romza side by side with S104 now for the lead of the race and going into turn 8 and 9 here will they be able to keep it on the track yes they will Romza is still side by side with the Aston Martin right now and going into turn 11 I think this is now they're still side by side so they're not they're, both of them are giving it everything right now. Romza edges in the lead at the sector 2 line now. S104 now is in second. Uh, no, S104 retakes the lead. 
out of turn 11 there and he's now up into the lead once again and the Romza seems to be losing out on the corners actually so Romza might be running uh, a little bit lower wings on the setup right now and S104 go goes wide that's promoted Pirvana now into the lead of the race Pirvana is now into second place S104 dropping back down to third and now he's going to be under pressure from the other AlphaTauri driver Ni now as we go into turn 11 S104 took a bit of a deeper line but that's going to give him a better exit out of turn 11 now and he's going to be going side by side with the Alpha Tauri driver down into the final corner now it's a drag race for these two as they make their way down and looks like uh, I think Ni might win this one out here and uh, no S104 has managed to stay ahead actually so he very good usage of the ERS there and Ni doesn't seem to be using much ERS down the main straight actually so I think he's saving it for the other straights at the moment or maybe he burnt it a bit too much on that back straight uh wait jazzy jazzy i think jazzy has just disconnected oh no is this the championship right now fading for jazzy here he's not moving i think jazzy has just disconnected from the race now romza's lead 2.5 seconds and jazzy has disconnected so jazzy is not going to have the chance to fight for his championship in this race right now and he's going to come out of Qatar with 0 points over Sogidik and Sogidik right now he's sitting in ninth place and he's actually trying to get past AMW for 8th right now and he has managed to do done so so at the moment Sogi would gain a net 4 points over Jesse uh, close as well the top 5 do seem to be a bit quicker than the others here as Romza and S104 are into the pits but Romza has Romza crash oh no that was Falcon's wheel Falcon was the one who crashed in the pit lane so that explains why he actually lost the wheel there now Pirvana is into the pits as well and Ramza he's out on the hard tires S104 as well let's say Pirvana is probably going to go into the hearts as well well it looks like he's had a slow stop that's not a great stop for the Alpha Tari team he's on the mediums again so he's committing to the two stop then since he was on the mediums earlier He's gonna have to run the soft tires later on in this race probably then. As Ni right now takes the lead for Alpha Tauri. So uh Evan I think has managed to jump uh Piavana with that slow pit stop there and maybe even Sorilik has Sorilik jumped him as well? Yes he has. So Sorilik a, a lot of drivers seem to have jumped Piavana because of that. Right, and looks like actually Ronza has managed to clear ASM and S104 has man not managed to do so. So S104 has lost out big time here on this traffic from ASM right now and it looks like he's now finally managed to get past but he's lost a lot of time to Romza now should uh, Jerry pit and then we have Ethan uh, behind them as well Evan though goes wide Evan goes wide onto the runoff and now he's been re-overtaken by Nii and uh, Ethan has managed to oh no Ethan I thought Ethan actually got past but he hasn't now so Evan now is down to P5 and Ni is up into fourth place again. Going into the final corner, these two are actually catching up to S104. You can see right in front there. So S104 is losing some time right now into the final corner here. Ni is trying to get back ahead of Evan, but Evan looks like he's got the job done. Jerry now is into the pits. So Jerry is going to have far fresher tires and likely the faster compound as well. And now we'll see what tire he chooses to go on. And Jerry, he's onto the medium tires. Thought he would have gone. Thought he would have waited a bit longer and tried to put on the soft tires. But no, he's chosen to go onto the mediums. And now that slots him out, I believe, into P11. Ni, remember, is still on the medium tires, so he has to pit, or he's breaking that two-tire rule, and he might get disqualified for that if he doesn't pit in the next three laps. So uh, this might not be good for Alpha Tauri there if Ni doesn't know that. And uh, Evan here is still trying to get past. And now Evan here gets the better exit out of turn 11 and he's managed to get ahead of the Alpha Tauri driver now. So Ni currently not in a great position, remember, due to that two tire rule. So he's likely going to have to pit. Oh, he is pitting now. So Ni is coming in now. For I, I would guess a soft a set of soft tires. Uh, and Sogidik Sogidik's disconnected. So the championship leader, he's not going to score any points either. 
And that's gonna actually help Jerry out now. Uh, so Solidic, uh, disconnecting as well along with his championship rival Jazzy. So that's not going to be any points for those two. Jo Sorry, disconnecting on the penultimate lap of the race. He's started second. Algar's dropped to fifth. Now Ramza is going to be crossing the line and he will get his first win at the Qatar Grand Prix in Season 2 of FRIL. S104 now crossing the line for his first podium here and he will finish in second place. Evan into third place, very decent result, damage limitation for Alpine there. Jerry crosses the line, he will finish just about ahead of Algar in fourth place and Algar in fifth. Senna has been overtaken on the line by Ni. Nee. Ni nee gets sixth place over Senna. Who will drop to 7. Piavana will cross the line for 8th place. Just above AMW. So both AlphaTauri is getting someone on the line there. ASM crossing the line in 10. Pikachu in 11th. Rapid in 12th. And we'll watch to see if Ethan can get this fastest lap now. Uh, going up to the line now. Is he going to pick up that fastest lap? Yes he will. So that's not going to be an extra point for him. But it is going to be some form of pride for the Alfa Romeo driver then. So after that eventful Qatar Grand Prix, Romza won the race, Chris following behind in second and Evan rounds out the top three in third. Looking at the Drivers' Championship, Sorydik now still retains his lead of 10 points over Jazzy but Jerry now closes the gap. Looking at the Constructors' Championship here, Ferrari here, now the gap is close to 22 points after Evan's podium at Qatar and Mercedes dropping back a little bit in third with 180 points. So don't miss the race coming in about two weeks at UAE. 